Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So if you have walked around on the Las Vegas Strip, you probably will have seen those cars drive around with cameras and all kinds of sensors on them. They usually drive up and down the strip from the staging area on East Alibaba Lane in front of the Luxor. I often see them there as I usually also use that side street to set up my cameras when I do one of my driving videos. So I decided to do some research and see what they are up to. The company is called Zoox and is part of Amazon. And while they are definitely not the only one, Lyft also has similar cars driving around. They are into autonomous vehicles. So my guess was that these vehicles are basically training and learning the ins and outs of the Las Vegas streets. It doesn't look like they are actually transporting any passengers at the moment, even though they are allowed to. I think these are all virtual test rides they have to perform and still contain a driver. I recall a news item a month ago that one crashed into the back of a truck and it also had a driver and was not in self-driving mode. Funny enough, the accident was caused by a driver error, according to Zux. got permission from the DMV to test drive their vehicles back in early 2019. Initially, they planned to go live with them in 2020, but I guess that got delayed a bit. Now, a competitor called Motional was in the news the other day stating that they did launch a robo-tax service in Las Vegas for Uber and Lyft. They are still not fully driverless either. That is planned for 2023. So I think we're just going to have to wait a little bit more and hopefully we'll see them become operational next year. Although that might be a bad thing, what do you guys think? Pedestrians get sideswiped almost on a daily basis here in Las Vegas. Do you think self-driving vehicles will help avoid that? Or perhaps increase problems? Anyway, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on what is happening in and around Vegas. Thanks.